Hello there gardeners and welcome to Gardening Through the Seasons. I'm Leah Kelly, Consumer Horticulture Specialist with Mississippi State Extension and I'm here today down on the Mississippi State campus. It's late January and from now until early March is the time to start thinking about and doing any needed pruning on your tree form crepe myrtles just like these behind me. Now notice I said needed. We're not going to dwell long on the barbaric practice of topping these beautiful plants where some folks go in and take a chainsaw or a large saw and cut those trunks off at chest or waist height. Just don't do this, y'all. If you have seen this done or you've done this yourself and you're doing it to keep that plant in bounds, now's the time to maybe start thinking about removing that plant and replacing it with something that doesn't quite get so huge. There are many types of crepe myrtles, including dwarf or shrub types, which basically form a large bush with multiple stems coming from the base of the plant. These would require a totally different pruning technique than the large multi-trunk tree forms, which are the more common types in our southern landscapes. So if you wanted a plant, wanted a crepe myrtle, and you had a small space, you do have the option of choosing some of these dwarf or shrub types. When purchasing a tree form crepe myrtle, be sure that you know the mature height and spread, and this information can usually be found on the label, because as you know, these can become, some of them can become quite, quite huge. So you want them to be able to fit into the space that you want them to in your landscape. Now when you get these from the nursery, they have probably already been pruned into the basic multi-trunk tree form. All you have to do is that plant grows is to maintain that basic shape. That's how simple it is. Yearly pruning of these plants can be broken down in just a few simple steps. As the plant grows, you're going to probably need to remove any suckers that arise from the base of the plant. And when the crepe myrtle is young, depending on the cultivar, there may be a lot of these. But typically as the plant grows and matures, you're going to have less and less of these that are going to be needed to, to be removed. And actually this kind of pruning you can do at any time of year, not just necessarily in the spring. The next step would be to remove any dead, diseased, or crossing limbs. For example, this branch right here has grown and crossed over this trunk and it's caused some damage to this trunk. You'll want to come in here and remove this branch right here. You also want to remove any branches that grow into the interior of the canopy that can cross over branches higher up. This is the way it should look when we get through pruning. Next, we want to remove the lower branches on the main trunks to keep the canopy at the desired level. This exposes the beautiful trunk structure and the exfoliating bark and colors of many cultivars of crepe myrtles. You can remove the old seed heads if you can reach them, like I can on this specimen, but as, a, as the plant grows, they're probably gonna get too high up for you to remove, and that's okay. But if you can reach them, it is a good idea to, to remove them because in some varieties, this does encourage more flowering. Now you can remove them right after they flower in the summer, and in some cultivars, it does encourage a rebloom in some of our crepe myrtles. If you have neglected your young crepe myrtles and they've gotten a little bit wild and woolly like this specimen, sometimes this happens as well to children when they're neglected, you can regain the upper hand. First, select the main trunks that you want to remain when you get done and then tag those so that you don't mistakenly remove those when you get to cutting the others all the way to the ground. Then next, basically all you do is follow the steps that we've already outlined and that's it. So just like our children when they're young, your crepe myrtles need more attention and training. As the years roll on and your specimen matures, your pruning training will pay off with an outstanding tree such as this one. From Mississippi State University, I'm Leah Kelly and this has been Gardening Through the Seasons.